In this morning's Health Watch, short sleepers. They're less than 3% of the population, and everyone else is probably very jealous of them. Montes Castro has a story of people who can get by on about half as much sleep as the rest of us. Yes, and we know that sleep is very coveted when we mm. wake up at what time? 3.30. 3.20, I got you by 10 minutes, okay. Chris. Imagine this, what if four hours of sleep a night was enough? It would certainly make a lot of people's schedules a lot easier, but for some, it's just the right amount. And not surprisingly, they're called short sleepers. Sleep is a necessity, not a luxury. And most people need seven to nine hours. Most of us need at least seven. Humans need about 16 hours of wakefulness and eight hours of sleep. Well, maybe not all humans. If a four hour slumber leaves you feeling spry, dream big because rumor has it you're in elite company. Da Vinci painted masterpieces, Napoleon conquered an empire, and Martha Stewart created one on minimal shut eye. Behold the short sleeper. While you're tossing and turning all night, these superhumans sleep just four to six hours and wake up fully rested fully recharged. I think I might be the chosen one. <laughs> I mean, Dan Ninen is a short sleeping honest. comedian. Did anybody not get that? He says he actually benefits from going to bed at midnight and waking up at 4 a.m. I mean, I have probably, I estimated maybe 15 to 20 percent more time than your average person, so I can get a lot more done. Which means more hours to write jokes and travel between gigs. Ninen says he never drinks caffeine because he simply doesn't need it. I feel like I have all this energy and very positive all the time. They appear to be extremely energetic, uh, very, very productive, go, 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 a lot of drive, despite the fact that they're sleeping less than the average person. Short sleepers don't nap, they don't rely on caffeine, and doctors say most of them are more outgoing and upbeat than the average person. Do you think this is innate, or can one actually learn how to be a short sleeper? It is innate in those people that have the genetic tendency to be a short sleeper. I don't think you can learn to be a short sleeper. Researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, have pinpointed a genetic mutation unique to short sleepers. They say the condition may run in families. We identify a single person who's a natural short sleeper. It, it is often the case that one of their parents has the same trait. 50% of their brothers and sisters and children have the same trait. Doctors warn if you're not a short sleeper by nature, don't try to become one. Sleep deprivation can lead to serious health problems like diabetes and heart disease. So obviously, listen to your body. That was my next question, is yeah. how healthy can this be? I mean, it's got to catch up with some people at some point. Right. So according to this study, if you are, in fact, not a short sleeper and you just think you can get by on four hours, what's going to happen is you're just going to become sleep deprived. And so then you try to make up for it on the weekends, which I'm sure that's something that you sure. probably do. I try to do the same thing. Um, it's called sleep debt. So in other words, if you don't get the recommended uh, daily allowance of sleep, yeah. you're never going to catch up to it. You're never, gonna, you're never going to fulfill it. I think the one thing that was funny that the comedian mentioned is that the days are so much longer. You can get so much more <laughs> done <laughs> yeah, right, if right. you're only sleeping three right, hours if you're a day. Only sleeping three, sure. Yeah. And again, this only affects about one to three percent of the yeah. population. They're still studying it. You know, it's a gene. It's not like we're going to we're going to be cloned. Yeah. Suddenly. There's no magic pill for it just no, yet. Yeah, I think no it's funny pill. how they're uh, they're all in better moods too. They get such short amount of sleep, but, but they moods, seem to no be in naps. Better, no naps, no caffeine, no nothing. Crazy. I get five and a half hours in each night consistently. And you're always happy. I'm always happy, but I pass out on the cab ride home. <laughs> I mean, it's like I need those naps. Madison, thank you. Absolutely. Good to see you.